when the NASA Mars rover Spirit landed in 2004, its mission was just three months long. But Spirit exceeded that timetable and much more. The mobile geologist kept going for six years and travelled nearly eight kilometres, outlasting many of the NASA team who managed the rovers day in, day out. Professor Steve Squires has been its constant companion, watching its every move from hundreds of millions of kilometres away. In 2005, he told Chris Lintott why they thought Spirit would only last 90 days. I mean, the thing that we thought was going to kill them was dust on the solar arrays. Mars is a very dusty place. Dust is in the atmosphere. It settles out of the atmosphere. It coats everything. And as the dust built up, it went down and down and down and down and down. Okay, so, so it was getting close, close to the end. It really was getting close to the end. And then one glorious day, we got hit by this gust of wind. I mean, it was just a blast of wind, nothing more than that. Cleaned off the solar arrays. Spirit was producing more solar power than the day we landed. The dust devils whipping along the desert were to become a regular feature and a lucky bonus. But Spirit's real adventure did not begin until it had trekked from its landing place in Gusev Crater to the faraway Columbia Hills. On arrival, it found evidence of water and went on to make the first ascent of an alien hill. The view from the top was spectacular. Times got tough when one of its wheels broke and Spirit had to drag it through the Martian dust. But that misfortune had an upside for scientists. The churned up soil revealed white deposits of pure silica, evidence that Mars once had hot springs or steam vents, possibly creating conditions favorable for life. But Spirit's days were numbered. It was further disabled by another wheel loss and the team were unable to get Spirit into the ideal position for winter hibernation. In 2010, we caught up with Professor Steve Squires, who told us his feelings about the rover that just wouldn't give up. I think the day when it suddenly hits us, we've gotten our last transmission from the vehicle. That's going to be, I think, pretty hard. It's had a good life, a good, long, productive life, and it's achieved so much more than any of us could ever have anticipated or hoped for that uh, if this is the end, it is clearly an honorable death. Spirit never did awaken from the long Martian winter, and last month, NASA finally closed the chapter on this epic tale. But the exploration of Mars still goes on. Spirit's sister rover, Opportunity, is going strong on the other side of the planet, nearing its destination of Endeavour Crater. And later this year, NASA sends its latest Mars rover, Curiosity, to the red planet in search for signs of life. The rover is dead, but its spirit lives on.